Okay, so this is part number three. Welcome back. And uh, yeah, we're going to show you how to edit NPC drops. It's a bit different. So yeah, let's get right into it. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close off all these, go down to Feather, and hold on, let me actually go in game and show you something real quick. Okay, so we're in game. Uh, I just did Master. I'm going to give myself a whip, and I'm going to NPC 8015. Isn't that it? Or 8051? Oh, fuck, I forgot the ID. Hold on. Okay, it is 8501, 8501. So this is what we're going to be editing. This is a turkey. Don't know why, I just like the turkey. Um, as you see, it only drops bones. So let me, 8501, 8501. Let's do two more to show you. This is legit. <coughs> Let's go over here and kill this guy. I just hit a zero on the turkey somehow, don't ask. As you can see, bones and bones. So there's no drops, just bones, of course. So yeah, let's go out of the game and I'll show you. Okay, so you're going to need to download two new programs. Well, not really. You need to download two. Just the Uni Drops from Edit. Um, it will be in the description, like always. Um, you're going to open up Uni Drops in J, right here, and drag it to your desktop. Um, you're going to close off all this. And as you can see right here, this is Java, or Jerry 8040, or 8U40. You're going to need this. If you can't open this, and it says you need Java Runtime Environment, this is what you're going to need. This will also be in the description. If you don't want to run this, it's kind of a weird program that uses it to run because you can't find it on regular Java website. So just search up Jerry 8 u 40 or down the one I have in the description. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this NPC Drop Editor. Um, and I'm going to drag this into my Feather server. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the EXE. And I'm going to click Matrix. And now I'm going to go to open on the file, and I'm going to select where it is in my server, where my cache is, or not my cache, uh, we'll, wait, it is NPCs pack drops, right there. So this is the file it'll look like, you can just open up anything and just look at their drops or change them. It's pretty odd, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for turkey, 8501, right here. As you see, bones, like in game, this is exactly what it was. So what we can do is search up here, and say we wanted to drop Torva items. So we can just drag the icon over here, just like this, and it will actually put it on, which is pretty cool. So Torva gloves, or Torva boots. So now a turkey drops full Torva, and you can also drop, let's say, dragon claws, just like that. So now it drops dragon claws too. Cool. Um, 100%. Now let's say we have this is 100%, and this is 100% rate. Both of these items, items will always drop. But let's say we have this is 90%. 90% of the time this will drop, but this will always drop, no matter what. So you get these two items. But let's say we have these, all these items right here is 100%, right? We'll always get these items with 100% of the time. So if you want it to have like really rare, you can do like 1%. I don't know if you can do decimals. Let's try. Oh, you can. 0 0.5. That's pretty cool. So let's do 20% um, drop chance on each. Now, even though this is 20%, two of these items can drop still. You see what I'm saying? Because it rolls the table more than once. So there we go. Um, that should be good, and we can add a minimum how many Torvas can spawn, or a maximum. So let's say we want 30 of them to drop, something stupid like that. This is good for noted items. Um, so yeah, let's um, now go to File, Save to File. And uh, make sure you click on this right here, and save, click yes. Now that is done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my server. Let's log out. Let's go in here. Let's close off this. Let's rerun the server. <coughs> okay, it is done. Let's go back in game. Let's do NPC8501. Let's kill three of them, and let's see what this guy drops. He dropped nothing. It is a 20% job chance. This time he dropped Torva Boots. And yeah, see, it's 20%. See, now it dropped a Torva Plate Buddy. But even when you kill it, it can drop full Torva, because they're all 20%. You see what I'm saying? So it has a 20% chance to drop this, 20% chance to drop this, 20% chance to drop this, etc., etc. There's no rare loot table or such like that. It's just all the same loot table. It's kind of hard to explain, but I hope you understand. And yeah, that's how you add 
drops to NPCs and configure them as you like. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.